from steam powered to assembly line production to key ignition and the seat belt. Cars have seen many advancements over the years, so we wanted to take a look into the future of automotive technology. The mechanic who fixes your car isn't just a grease monkey. Auto technicians need to know the ins and outs of very complicated systems. And the instructors at New England Tech teach their students how to apply their skills in the classroom. Oh, it's very important here because they, they, that's the best way they learn. Um, most of the students that come here are more hands-on type of students. Being exposed to different vehicles and working on their own cars is most beneficial, as well as keeping up with the most up-to-date vehicles, like the hybrid. The major thing we teach here is the safety around working around hybrid vehicles, because uh, they deal with high voltage. They're going to see that when they work out in a the dealership, they're going to see that when they work out in the field, because there's regular maintenance involved in that. And not only are the students adapting to these new advancements, but the instructors are too. This field changes every year, so we're always updating, we're always uh, making a, a lesson plan, a curriculum different to go with the, day, with the, the times. Yeah. To keep up with the new trends, we head to the high performance section. These vehicles have been around since the 50s and 60s and continue to evolve. Now it's getting a lot more technical with onboard computers. So again, what we're trying to do with this course is teach students how to put it all together, how to design an engine with staying with the electronics. Combining your car with a computer sounds pretty cool, but complicated. So how does it work? We have a chassis dynamometer where students will run uh, a vehicle, whether it be their own vehicle or uh, their own car, on the dynamometer, see what its uh, horsepower and torque output is, modify it or make changes to it, and then see what the end result is after that. When you modify the engine, um, you also need to modify the computer. Some cars make that a little bit easier to do than others. As technology moves forward, so does the course material. Here at New England Tech, we're now a certified Snap-on Training Center to where we educate our students in all the latest uh, high-technology diagnostic equipment. So we might not have a flying car or a time-traveling DeLorean, but with the gas prices the way they are, I'll take the hybrid any day.